Hello, it's Liz here with Stampin' on the Rock. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a card using this stamp set called Kindest Expressions. They're nice, large, bold sayings, which I really like, with sympathy, oh, happy day, sending sunshine and rainbows, and thanks so much. And this is in the annual catalog, or it can be found in my online store, stampinontherock.com. Okay, we're going to set that aside. The colors that I'll be using today our blueberry bushel, garden green, and lost lagoon. I'll be using the paper pack. This is a paper pack that's in the annual catalog. Actually, it is not. It is in the new holiday catalog, depending on when you're watching this video. goes live on September 6, 2023. And this one is called Winter Meadow. So we kind of think like, oh, it's just like winter and you can only use it January, December, whatever. Um, but it's not. I really like these colors right here. But it is called Winter Meadow. Um, let's see, what else am I going to be using? I will be using these embellishments called Tinsel Gems 3-Pack. And I've said this before, but on this is the envelope that goes with it. I've written the colors with a Sharpie right on here. Misty Moonlight, Fresh Freesia, Lost Lagoon. That way I can flip through um, all of my embellishments and I can find the color easily for what I want. Okay, so Lost Lagoon is one of the ink pad colors that I'll be using in my card today. And Misty Moonlight is not a color I'm using here, but Misty Moonlight is in the paper that I'm using. So this was perfect match. Um, let's see, just some adhesive, you know the deal. I've got some adhesive, some dimensionals that I always use. Um, I have a bone folder here. So let me give you the pieces then that I'll be using, okay? So the base of the card will be blueberry bushel. And this is a sheet of eight and a half by 11 cut in half. And I've already scored it so I can just Go ahead and fold that in half. One thing I do get asked is what I use to score. So let me just show you that one second. This is the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer. And on the trimmer, it comes with a cutting blade here, and then here's a scoring blade, and that comes with the trimmer. Okay? And for those of you who might not realize, it has an arm on the side that you can pull this out to do larger sheets of paper if you need to measure. It actually goes up to 17 inches, which we don't have paper that long, but it does go up to 17 inches. And you have a cutting blade and a scoring blade and that you can get replacements for those also, okay? So this is the card base. Um, then this is from that pack of the winter, what did I say it was called? Winter, 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 hang on one second. I know we're not winter, so I don't wanna rush that, but it is called Winter Meadow, okay? So the Winter Meadow paper, I have two pieces here. One piece, there you go. One piece is two and an eighth by five and a half. And then I have this thin piece here that is a half inch by five and a quarter. So those two pieces. And we'll set those aside for a minute. And then I have another piece of paper from that same pack. Pull that off. I just wanted a more solid color, but this is from that same pack of Winter Meadow paper, but a little more solid. And that one is a half inch by five and a half inches. Okay, we'll set that aside. And then Garden Green. I have a piece of Garden Green cardstock that is two and three fourths by three and a fourth. Three and a fourth. Three and a fourth. Two and three fourths by three and a fourth. Three and a fourth. Sorry about that. All right, and then we have white. We're gonna use white cardstock, and I have white cardstock that is two and a half by three. And then I have another piece here that is, I don't have it written down here, but this is four by five and a quarter. Okay, four by five and a quarter. All right, so let's get started with stamping and assembling, putting together. I'm going to be using the, um, the stamp that says, oh, happy day. And I'm using this piece here of white cardstock. And this one was, uh, let's see, I just put them all away. This is the, I took off the, the measurements. 
This one is the two and a half by three inch piece, okay? So we're gonna be using that one. I'm going to take all three of my ink colors. I'm taking the lightest color of all three of these. The lightest one is Lost Lagoon, okay? So I'm gonna take Lost Lagoon. Let's just open up all the ink pads at one time. Okay, so I'm gonna take Lost Lagoon and I'm going to ink that up. Okay, that's Lost Lagoon. I'm gonna put that aside. I am taking Blueberry Bushel and I'm just going to ink just one end. And I'm kind of like rotating a little bit back and forth because I don't want a stark line. So I'm kind of just dabbing back and forth a little bit, just a tiny bit at the bottom, okay? If you can see that a little bit there. All right, then I'm going to go into the garden green. I'm doing the opposite, the opposite ends, just again, just a little bit. Okay, so now I have the three colors on there. And I'm going to go ahead and just stamp, oh, happy day. Press straight down. And lift up, and then you have the three different colors um, from one stamp. Okay, so I've got garden green on the top, I've got Lost Lagoon here, and then I have Blueberry Bushel at the bottom. So that's one way. There's definitely other ways to get multiple colors on one stamp, but that's one way. So let me close up the ink pads so we don't dry out. Just remember if your ink pads do dry out, getting an ink refill is less expensive than buying a whole new pad. So just know that we do have ink refills. If it's been a long time since you've refilled your ink pads, it's probably time. And sometimes we think, oh, it doesn't look like it's bad until you put it against someone who has a brand new ink pad and you're thinking, wow, mine's not really as bright as that or as dark as that. It's probably because you need an ink refill. Okay, so I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna lightly put some adhesive on the back. I'm gonna center that on here. Okay, so we have that. This is the green. I actually just smudged it. Let me just show you, this happens. I did my finger, I got a little bit of ink on my finger and I smudged, and I don't know if you can see, I'm gonna bring it real close to the camera. Not sure if you can see it, there's a little smudge right here. No problem, we will take care of that. So hang on one second. All right, I'm gonna take this piece here. I know sometimes people have troubles with this with this um, adhesive. Let me just give you a tip, okay? Put it down, if, you're, if there's no stickiness here, you wanna use your finger and roll it up. Set it down and be gentle. Gentle, pull back and snap. When you press down hard, thinking, oh, I'm not gonna get it on there, sometimes that's what jams it up. So just gently set it down, gently pull up. You don't need to press super hard with it. Because that and the liquid glue are really all I use most of the time. Let's see, is this straight on here? Yeah, I'm gonna center this a little bit better and there we go, okay. So let's go ahead and put this on here. I'm gonna set up on the top. Don't press down real hard until you know it's where you want it to be. So I'm kind of getting where I want it to be and then I'll press down. Okay, that's good. If I need to trim off any excess, I can do that. All right, now I'm gonna take this um, piece here. This is the real thin piece. Just putting a little bit of adhesive on here. And I'm going to lay this right up against the other one. I'm going to line up it up the t line it up against the top, right up against this one. There we go. And that's what we have at this point. Okay. Take this piece here. I'm going to add some dimensionals to it. How are you doing with dimensionals? Do you need to add some more to your next order? Such a simple little thing, and there's a ton of them in there, so they do last a long time. But if you don't have any or if you're getting low on them, stock up. All right, I'm going to put this over here. I could put it right in the center. I'm going to put it over here because I want more of this paper. This paper is beautiful. So let's make sure we can see more of the paper. Okay, so we're coming over here. 
All right. Now we think, okay, well, what was this piece for and this other white piece? Because it's such a dark color, I'm going to put a white piece in here to make it helpful for writing. I could just go ahead and just put that white piece and be done with it. But I'm going to bring this front design inside. So let's take this thinner piece that we have here. Just going to add some adhesive here. And I'm going to take that and just right here, I'm going to lay this down. Okay. Now, see it lay it down and it has a little bit of an edge there that is a little bit longer than I need it. Just turn it over on the back. My scissors are gotten all befuddled. Turn it on the back and then I'm just going to trim off that little excess. No big deal. And then this is going to go on the inside. So it brings the front of the card design to the inside. Gives a little pretty inside where you're writing. Okay, so we have this and this, all right. All right, we need to add, you know, we need to little, add some little embellishments here. So I did two different things with this one, or I'm going to do two different things with this one. I'm going to, I took, uh, let's see. I used the Around the Bend dies. Around the Bend dies are in the annual catalog. And there's little leaves in here. Okay, so I cut out some little leaves. I put adhesive sheet on the back of this garden green cardstock, and I ran it through with the um, the leaves here. So I'm gonna pop out some of these leaves, and let's see. Let's get these leaves out of here. We're gonna pull off this backing and then the nice thing about having the adhesive sheet on there is that um, these little itty bitty pieces already ha are sticky on the back and you don't have to um, figure out how to get adhesive on that little skinny piece okay so remember where I had that little smudge right there no biggie we're gonna just lay this leaf right over top of it never gonna see that smudge Okay, and I have another leaf here. Let's do one other leaf. Let's see, let's do this one. And I'm gonna pull off, pulling off this backing, of course, on camera is always trickier than without a camera on, but we're gonna do it, hang on. Okay, got it. Got it, okay. There we go. So I'm going to take this one here. I'm going to lay this one down right there. And we can always add one to the inside if you want to do that. Let's do that. Why not, right? Okay. Let me pull this one off of here. I think it's easier to pull this adhesive off of the cardstock rather than trying to pull the cardstock off the adhesive. So let's pull this out of here. There we go. We still have a little bit of it of paper backing on here. And a little bit there. All right. And you just have to be gentle with it. Just be careful with it. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Maybe I'll just do it right here. Okay. Then that really brings in the front to the inside of your card. That, and we're not done because I wanted to add a little bit of some sparkle to it. So I'm going to add these little gems here. And I told you that these were called Tinsel Gems 3-Pack. And the top is Misty Moonlight. Then this in here is Fresh Freesia. And this is the Lost Lagoon. So even though Fresh Freesia is not in this paper, I think it's kind of pretty. It pops up. So I'm going to add a little, I'm going to add a little Fresh Freesia in there. Just to give it a little bit of some pop of color. Oop, I think it went upside down on me. There we go. Um, let's add some Misty Moonlight. Even like I said, we didn't use Misty Moonlight ink, but there is Misty Moonlight in, um, in this paper. So 
I'm going to take another Misty the Moonlight and grab a, a bigger one. There's like three different sizes in here. So let me grab a bigger one here, a larger one. And you can put them wherever you want them. There's no right right or wrong way, where, place to put them. So there we go. This is my card. And uh, oh, happy day. And then you continue the design on the inside. So that's it. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll talk with you later. Thanks so much. Remember the mini catalog, the holiday mini catalog goes live September 6th, 2023. And um, you can order any of the products right here on Stampin' on the Rock. If you enjoyed this video, hit that share button below. Hit the thumbs up, the like. Um, that just helps me know if it was helpful to you or not. So thanks so much for watching. I'll talk with you later. Bye-bye.